Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. And today is 11-11. And what that means is today is Singles Day or Double Eleven in China. So happy Singles Day to everyone. Now, if you are not familiar with this holiday or you're not familiar with the Chinese economy, um, this is basically the largest single biggest online retail day in the entire world. Now, if you are living in the United States, a lot of us are familiar with the whole concept of Black Friday, which is typically every year it's on November 25th, right after Thanksgiving. And the reason why they call it Black Friday is because that weekend is an opportunity for all these businesses and companies to be in the black, meaning they make a lot of sales. That's where they're going to make all their money. And for a lot of companies, Black Friday is probably the biggest single um, earnings day in the entire year for sales but compared to China's singles day it's absolutely really funny um, how low that is even though um, in the U.S. is such a big earnings day so let me just give you an example in 2015 during Black Friday single day sales I think even including online sales was around 2.7 billion dollars or maybe even close to 3 billion and in two days of sale uh, in the US they earned a little over 12 billion dollars 12.3 billion dollars so that's in about three days you know two to three days I think it was two days exactly now that is really not nothing to scoff at that is a ton of money but you when you compare this to a uh, singles day in China so far on 11 11 um, it looks like they're about to reach 17.8 billion dollars in one day and almost 15 billion dollars of it is going to be taken by Alibaba which is the company owned by Jack Ma uh, pretty much uh, the second I think wealthiest person in China and uh, definitely one of the wealthiest persons in the entire world and if you are not familiar with Alibaba which I was just here um, a lot of people refer to this as the Amazon of China but really it's more than that you know if you do any type of wholesaling or you order things direct from China um, this is basically the marketplace for people uh, and consumers to come together you know and they do pretty much everything so a lot of things that you know you get if they are sourced from uh, China Alibaba is pretty much the place to be at but Alibaba is in multiple countries that they source their products from and it's not just from China so yeah it's kind of ridiculous how much money that is and I just thought I'd just uh, talk about that today because it is a pretty big thing and also at the same time it just shows the I guess the power and also it's kind of scary at the same time of the online uh, retailers you know of online shopping how much really it's grown you know um and that that is a just ridiculous amount of money and you know with technology you know this all goes back to technology all of this is only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger you know obviously nowadays if you're online you buy everything pretty much online you know you can buy anything you want online and also at the same time even your groceries the food being delivered to your place so the internet and you know the technologies that go along with it have really really changed the way um, people not only communicate but also from a consumption basis you know from the buyer standpoint I've never would imagine that much money and that many people would uh, purchase things online and like I said this is only the beginning and if I remember correctly e-commerce sales account for only like maybe less than uh, 15 percent if I remember correctly, of all total sales um, in the entire world. So that's still a small amount. You know, even if it was 20%, that is still a lot of room for growth. And obviously, China being the largest consumer market in the entire world in terms of the total population, I think they earn about, they have a, one, a little over 1 billion people in there. So they are definitely the largest single uh, consumer base available. Hence, so many uh, you know, companies are uh, you know, in China to try to get as many people out of the billion plus people to buy as much as possible possible so that's pretty much my quick thoughts today on 11 11 double 11 singles day if you had any thoughts on singles day or black friday or whatever country and if there's something that's similar to this where it's an online bonanza be sure to leave it in the ideas and the comments area below and don't forget if you do like these episodes you got value out of it be sure to leave a like subscribe and don't forget i am on snapchat at geek outdoors thanks for watching 
Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.